hello my name is Tatinda Muram Klanga. if you're new to my channel welcome if you're not old but a good thank you so much for coming back today we are playing with this foundation guys the first time um on my channel actually with this foundation with this brand even um this is Huda uh, Huda Beauty and this is their Lumicious Matte Foundation and I'm in the shade Mocha 500G so um, I've used this foundation guys I love the way it came out I really enjoyed using it a little bit goes a long way and you see me trying to uh, play with it guys this is also first impressions because I haven't used it, this foundation this is first time using it and I'm using it with you guys so um, if you like what you see guys continue watching if you know how if you want to know how I've come up with this look Just continue watching guys. It's the whole full tutorial. So yeah, I shall see you on my next video if God willing. Thank you. Bye So hello guys, so here guys I just primed my base with my P. Louise uh, in Roma shade number five so i'm just using here although i'm not showing on the camera guys i'm using my carnival palette by be perfect cosmetics and the shade that i just went in with is called liqua which is a very nice nice uh, uh, uh eyeshadow there guys and i'm just blending it with chant and just to make sure that my edges are really nice and blended and yeah, I'm just taking it, uh, my Morphe uh, eyeshadow, uh, my Morphe, <laughs> my Morphe um, the blending brush. I don't know which number is this one, guys. And yeah, I'm just blending all over my uh, my crease and that shadow so that we don't have any harsh lines. And I'm taking Foolish, uh, and I'm just blending that uh, eyeshadow into my um just on my crease i think it's just just above my crease and i'm just blending uh that shade chant and as you can see if i when i put that shadow it's uh making it's giving me a hash line uh because it's so light uh between the chant and that shade but we'll fix that guys because we just go back and forth back and forth just blending those shadows so that we don't have any hash lines so that's what i'm just doing there and uh, just making sure that i don't have any hash lines guys and i'm just doing my outer corner v of my waterline because that will give me a guideline of the shape of the eye as well at the same time that will give me also i'll put this first shade that i want in that uh, outer corner and to connect the the top part and the bottom part as well and i get uh, i hope you get what i mean by that and uh, i'm just blending everything so that we don't have any hash lines then i'll take i'm going to take my um my glitter glue and i've put that on my base so that it's ready for my uh, shimmer shade which i'm going to go in with uh, so I'm just blending with the colors that I uh, used in my crease on the outer corner V so that we don't have any hash lines there guys. So I'm putting the shade called Hustle that is really nice gold copper with the green undertone like olive undertone uh, on my eyelid. This shade is amazing guys. This shade is beautiful. And I'm just putting that on my lid and making sure that I'm blending it in. And I'm just taking Wasted, which is a purple shade that I'm putting on that, uh, so that, so in my crease and also on top of that, uh, on, on the shade Hustle, just to make sure that everything is blended, everything is not looking so harsh. And then, as you can see, I left the space on my inner corners because I wanted to put another shade there as so well. That is called Pink Me, which is kind of like lilac. It is like lilac uh, shade and it's a shimmer. This shade is gorgeous, y'all. It's really, really, really nice. And it's got pink undertones um, e reflections in it. And it's really beautiful. So I'm just connecting 
pink me and hustle together and uh, just to brighten up my inner corner and then I've decided to put it just a bit into my uh, crease uh, just to uh, just just wanted to, just liked how it looked guys <laughs> and uh, yeah and it looked uh, really nice and I, I really liked it so I'm using a uh, liquid to just align my uh, eyelashes line guys and here i've just taken the glam glow glow uh, glow starter it's a illuminator moisturizer and it's hydrating and illuminating so yeah and i'm using my foundation that i'm using on the first time on this channel which is by huda mocha 500g and i'm just putting that on my face and i've put a lot guys <laughs> i did not realize how much i've put on my face uh, the way i'm looking so olive and uh, just looking so wrong guys but yeah we'll make it work we'll make it work but um a little goes a long way with this foundation guys i think i just needed one pump and that was it but as you know me mm, cakey face <laughs> So I used a brush to, uh, to 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 blend and I could still see that it's just too much. So I got my LC uh, Beauty, my LC Blender a sponge and I was just using that to blend and take out any uh, excess that I had from the foundation. And then here I'm just going in with my concealers and you know how I do my concealers guys. Uh, this is by Morphe, the hydrating one. I found out, actually, fun fact. I actually like the hydrating one than the um, the matte one. Is it the matte one, the black one? Yeah. Um, than the um, yeah, than the matte one. Um, I like that one better compared to 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 that matte one the black one i like the hydrating one better than the soft matte so yeah i've tried to use a brush guys oh it's just taking so long <laughs> but um it helped me to uh distribute the product where i wanted it and then i'll take my morphe sponge and then i just blend everything in as you can see here i'm taking a blending brush from morphe and i'm just trying to blend that with my concealer that i've put underneath so that uh, we don't have any harsh lines and then making sure that everything is blended so i'm taking here as you all know if you've been on my channel i love to contour with the nas foundation um i'm taking this nas foundation then i'm just putting where i want the contour and i'm just placing it where uh, i'm just placing it and i'm going to blend it again and make sure that it's blended and everything you know how i do my best guys and yeah um i'm just blending everything here and then after that I'm just taking my Charlotte Tilbury uh, finishing powder. I love this stuff, guys. I love this stuff. And I'm just uh, put it uh, where I've put my concealers um, just to just before before I go in with any powders, loose powder. I like to put that pressed powder and uh, it just makes my skin flawless. Uh, to do it that way so yeah and i'm taking my bronzer here which is a uh, finished powder actually which is by um, revolution and this is their dark shade uh, i think this is the shade uh p14 and uh, so that's the one i just put just um it's a powder and i'm just putting that way up on my contours guys to make sure that uh it's not uh, just setting it just a bit before I go in with my bronzers and everything else. So I'm putting my um, uh, my loose powder here, guys. <laughs> uh, this is by Demo Blend uh, Professional Loose Setting Powder. I used to love this stuff, and I'm nearly running out, guys, on that powder. I love that powder, guys. I just I had forgotten how much I loved that for, that powder, and that's the one I've used. And uh, here I'm just putting my glow guys in powder, just putting my uh, blushes and everything else, guys, so that everything is in place. And look how my best looks, guys! Amazing, amazing, amazing! 
I just loved it. I love, I love how everything came out, how everything is so subtle and um, nice and blended. And yeah, guys, and um, thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> If you like this video guys don't forget to put a big thumbs up and like share and comment guys and yeah just leave a comment if in the, uh, if you've got anything to say guys you've got something to say so yeah bye so this is the final look guys tell me what you think i'm loving my best right now it is so 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 gorgeous I can see the inner glow. You can probably see. So, I've used this uh, foundation by Huda, Huda Beauty. They are a uh, soft matte. Um, the Lumicious Matte. No, soft matte. Lumicious Matte foundation. And it's 35 mils. And I am in the shade Mocha 500G. And yeah, it comes in this. Uh, you've already know, seen the feels uh, on other channels, guys. I'm just late on my channel. But yeah, and this is the look that I come up with. And it doesn't feel heavy. It is full coverage, though. It is proper, proper thick full coverage i do not own uh, the first foundation they launched so their first foundation uh, that they first launched uh, i don't own that one uh, so i won't know how to compare that one to this one but i really like this it's proper thick small amount go a long way um as you've seen me using it it was my first time also on camera so just first impressions for me so it was I kind of put too much and I had to dab it away with my beauty blender after applying with the uh, with a brush but other than that it is a lovely I like the finish of it really I do um, I'm glowing um, yeah my base look really flawless even putting other products on top uh, it didn't interfere with my base so which is really 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 good so i love this foundation um it's a nice foundation Ooh. so yeah guys that's the final look really really love i've been using this palette nanny stuff like i said as you all know that i really want to you get use of this palette all my previous looks i've been doing i've been using this palette so yeah be perfect by uh Stacey marie so yeah that's everything guys i hope you like this guys i'm loving the eye look <laughs>